Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, I must say it was a, a game that we could have finished in, in the first half. We created a lot of opportunities. We made the game to look so easy, which I think also had an effect on, on us losing focus, more especially in the time stages of the first half, uh, where we started to have a little bit more touches on the ball and we lost possession. Immediately that resulted in a diagonal, which uh, Parker caught us because initially the two strikers ran in as if they are going into offside position and Parker came in late in that hole, which uh, was not well covered. And then the contest became alive again. Uh, I must say it was very unprofessional of us to concede the second goal because it was our throw in. And from our throw in, we 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 lost possession. I think Lyle maybe could have played beyond Peter, behind Peter uh, in the open space. But unfortunately, when we lost that ball from Peter, then they came at us. But one must also give credit to Keegan. I think the pass was very good. And Kama was at his best on the day in terms of finishing, took it very well. And then it made the contest to be a little bit complex. But uh, even then, afterwards, we still con continue to create a lot of very good opportunities. Temba uh, had a very big influence in those. Peter could have scored more. Pavol could have scored. Uh, Mayema could have scored. There are many opportunities that were that looked like we could get something. Even Tapelo in the far post. Uh, Chiefs, we knew they were going to catch us on transition, and we knew that they'll be compact central. That's why we wanted to overload one side and isolate on the other side. But sometimes we were not very quick to find uh, openings to go to Lyle or Mudao, whom I believe Mudao had a very good game on the day. Very impressive uh, for him to play the way he played because it gives us confidence on the depth we have in that space. So one must must congratulate the boys. I think they gave it a very good day. It's always difficult to say it's the time, but it's an opportunity because now we are in the semifinals. Uh, if we can fight to go through the semifinals, we can't play the final before we, we win the first match of the semifinals and win the second match of the semifinals to go through. So for us at this stage, it's, it's one step closer, but impressive to, to note that we, we went through from, from the quarterfinals to the semifinals because this has been a hurdle for us. This first match has always been a bigger problem. In mean, as much as we did bomb out in the semifinals against Kipton City and bombed out in the semifinals again in the final against Feds, but it has always been a big challenge to, to just to step into the semifinals. And uh, looking at the, the attitude, the commitment of the players, the teamwork that I see from the coaches that we work with and the whole technical team and support staff, the, the camaraderie between the management, the technical team, and the support that we are getting from everybody else in the club, starting from the chairman, the board, and everybody else that is supporting the team. We, we... Yeah, obviously, the, the need for a VAR is, is, is there. Obviously, it, it makes a bit of a difference. But at times, they also make a mistake even with that VAR. But on this case, Zakele was just there. So... What is the use of bringing the linesman into that area if he's not going to be able to, to, to tell the referee that it's a goal? Because the linesman was five, six meters away from the situation. And unlike when he was he's on the, on the touchline there, but it still went on. So it, it's, it's, it's one of those situations. I do not want to, to speak about them because I also believe we, we had a penalty call on that side, uh, second half. But again, we, we have to, to accept that everybody makes mistakes. We also make mistakes. But uh, on the penalty one, it's, it's a bit of a sore point. Now Wendell is, is on a red card on an incident that was that if they look at the video, they will realize that we made a mistake. These people were not shouting at us for nothing. We had made a mistake. But yeah, that's football. Let's, let's not dwell too much on it. To be honest, I was not surprised. I will be lying to you if I say I'm surprised. Even when we're doing tactical arguments, we knew their strength on set pieces. We knew their, their potent nature on transition from defense to attack. 
we knew they would be having a, a very deep lying block and they will compress the space in the central corridors, which gave us a chance to go to our full beds. That's why Lyle had a free day today. Modao had a free day. It's just that sometimes players make mistakes. I, I would not say even say mistake. At times we force situations, even when we can see the people are compact in the heart and we want to try and force it uh, instead of patiently going into the wide channels, maybe overloading one side in order to put a diagonal ball in the isolated side. But at times in football, you must accept those things. But everything that came out in the match, it's exactly what we anticipated. No one will say we did not anticipate that they'll be looking for quicker transitions. They'll be looking for balls into the box uh, because they've got Nukovic. When you allow a cross, you allow a diagonal ball and you allow a header, you, you, you must not complain when you are punished. And worse when you are, you are even punished by Parker, not even a Nukovic. But the, those three incidences, you lose possession, you don't close down the diagonal ball from Nang, you don't close down the cross, then ultimately you consider a call from a header. Already that's a comedy of many errors, but it's things that we must work on and improve because we knew it's, it's not like something that we did not anticipate before the match. Uh, a lot of the things came right and the players did very well. We must give credit at times, we must not always complain. I believe they did well in, in many instances. They dominated the match, they dominated the field, they created a lot of opportunities. They took control of the game, which is what we always demand. But the mistakes that we made on the day are, are not forgivable easily, considering that for Sundowns to concede two goals in one match, it's, it's too big. Yeah?